I am Dr. Afnij Abdulaziz, Junior Resident of KS Day Medical Academy, Mangaluru. I am presenting a paper on topic of role of MDCT in evaluation of various pancreatic abnormalities. Aim to assess the role of MDCT in evaluation and detection of inflammatory neoplastic trauma of pancreas and developmental anomaly of pancreas. Introduction Pancreatic abnormalities varies from inflammation to malignancy and are associated with high morbidity and mortality. Hence, pancreatic imaging is an essential tool in early diagnosis and staging of pancreatic disease. Modality for imaging pancreas include abdominal radiograph, ultrasound, CT, MRI, endoscopic ultrasound, ERCP, PET CT. Computer tomography is the backbone of pancreatic imaging. Intravenous contrast is nearly always indicated with multiphase enhanced imaging being the optimal for identifying and characterizing pancreatic masses or complication from pancreatitis. Multiphase pancreas protocol will usually include an unenhanced sequence, a pancreas phase or late arterial phase as well as portovenous phase sequence. MDCT is highly sensitive in detecting necrosis, pancreatitis, peripancreatic fluid collections, calcification, neoplasm, pancreatic enlargement, atrophy, and cystic lesion of pancreas. Materials and Methods Place of Study Department of Radiology of Justice K. Segede Charitable Hospital in Mangaluru Type of Study Cross-sectional Observational Study Period of Study August 2022 to August 2023 Sample Size 88 Cases Inclusion Criteria Patient with Complaints Suggestive of Pancreatic disease based on clinical presentation, laboratory or ultrasonography findings. CCT examinations were conducted with GE 128 slice CT scanner. Observations and result out of 88 cases, inflammatory causes include 64 percentage that means 56 cases among that acute pancreatitis cases include 42.8 percentage, acute and chronic pancreatitis cases include 21.4 percentage and chronic pancreatitis cases include 35.7 percentage. 28 percentage of cases of total comes under neoplasm and 1 percentage trauma to pancreas and 7 percentage developmental anomaly of pancreas. Inflammatory pathology, first acute pancreatitis, this bar chart have shown age-wise distribution of cases among 1 to 20 years age group, 16.6% per of cases are noted, among 20 to 39 years of age group, 37.5% of cases are noted, among 40 to 59 per age group, 41.6% of cases are noted, more than 60 years of age group, 4.1% of cases are noted. This pie chart shows the male and female distribution of cases where 83% of cases are male. Type of acute pancreatitis. There are two types, acute interstitial pancreatitis and acute necrotizing pancreatitis. 71% of cases uh, comes under acute interstitial pancreatitis. CT findings. Normal glands are noted in 3 cases, where diffuse enlargement in 12 cases, focal enlargement is seen in 9 cases. Peripancreatic fast stranding is noted in 22 cases and peripancreatic fluid collections is noted in 15 cases. Most commonly seen extra pancreatic complications include pleural effusion in 12 cases and ascites in 15 cases out of 24 cases. This table shows modified CT severity score grading in acute pancreatitis. Majority of acute interstitial pancreatitis Pancreatitis cases have fallen under moderate grade, while majority of acute necrotizing pancreatitis cases have fallen under severe grading. This table shows the distribution of pseudocyst and wall of necrosis in acute interstitial pancreatitis, acute necrotizing pancreatitis, acute and chronic pancreatitis, and chronic pancreatitis. Pseudocyst is seen more commonly in acute and chronic pancreatitis, but it is also seen in chronic pancreatitis, acute necrotizing pancreatitis, and acute interstitial pancreatitis. While wall of necrosis is seen only in acute necrotizing pancreatitis in our study. Chronic pancreatitis. Age-wise distribution of cases is shown in this bar diagram. Out of total 20, 20 patients, cases having age group less than 20, there is no cases. And among the age group of 20 to 39, 45 percentage of cases are noted. Among the age group of 40 to 59, 50 percentage of cases are noted. Among the age group more than 65 percentage of cases are noted. And this pie chart shows the age distribution made male and female distribution of cases in that 85 percentage of cases of chronic pancreatitis are male ct findings are shown in this table 
20.4 percentage of case, cases shows atrophy of uh, pancreas 34 percentage of cases shows parenchymal calcification while 13.6 percentage of uh, cases shows intradactyl calcification mpd dilatation noted in 8 cases pseudocyst noted in 11.3 percentage of cases while pancreatico pleural fistula as a complication noted in 2.2 percentage of case pancreatic neoplasm a total of 25 cases of neoplasm out of which 72 percentage of patients demonstrate a solid neoplastic pancreatic lesion and 7 percentage, 28 percentage of patients had cystic pancreatic neoplasm. Solid neoplasm include adenocarcinoma 44 percentage and pancreas neuroendocrine tumor 12 percentage and metastasis include 16 percentage. Cystic uh, uh, neoplasm include serous cystadenoma 4 percentage and MCA 8 percentage of cases, SPN 4 percentage of cases and IPMN 12 percentage of cases. Among solid neoplasm of pancreas, adenocarcinoma is seen more common 44 percentage. Out of 12 patients of adenocarcinoma pancreas, 6 cases, 54.4 percentage is above 58 group with male predilection 81.8 percentage 72.7 percentage of cases shows involvement of head and uncinate process in adenocarcinoma of pancreas developmental anomaly of pancreas out of six cases of developmental anomaly of pancreas 66 percentage found in female cases of annular pancreas are found as an incidental finding while imaging in adult patients now cases acute interstitial pancreatitis head and body measures here, head and body measures 4.2 and 2.4 cm. It appears enlarged in size. Pancreatic duct is not dilated. No parenchymal or ductal calcification is seen. And there is a significant peripancreatic fat standing. Suggestive of acute interstitial pancreatitis. Next case. In this, body and tail are enlarged in size and parenchyma is replaced by periphery enhancing thin cal thin walled fluid density there are few enhancing island of parenchyma within the fluid density the head and neck of the pancreas is normal in size and shows mild degrees in attenuation and enhancement pattern with peripancreatic fat stunting and this image shows uh, bilateral pleural effusion left side more than right side and uh, this is a case of necrotizing pancreatitis with the wall of collection. Next case, head and neck of pancreas are mildly enlarged, hypoatenuating and show hypoenhancement. Body and tail are atrophic. Few specks of calcification noted within the head and uncinate process. Small peripherally enhancing collections are noted posterior to the head and uncinate process. Similar collection noted in the lesser sac anterior to the pancreatic tail abetting the posterior wall of the body of stomach. Chronic calcific pancreatitis. Pancreas is atrophic with the parenchymal thinning. Main pancreatic duct is dilated. Measures 6.4 mm in the body region. Multiple ductal or parenchymal calcifications noted in the head, uncinate process and tail. Largest measuring 9.4 mm within the MPD in the head region. Now, case of pancreatic laceration. A well-defined hypodense non-enhancing region measuring 23 into 18 mm noted in the region of neck of the pancreas. It is noted involving the uh, pancreatic parenchyma and communicating with the MPD. Rest of the parenchyma appears bulky with normal attenuation and enhancement pattern. So, it's of pancreatic laceration. Now, discussion. A total of 88 patients of uh, OPD and IPD were included in the present study to assess the role of computer tomography in evaluation of pancreatic abnormalities and various abnormalities were detected. The study observed the commonest pancreatic pathology was of inflammatory etiology followed by pancreatic carcinoma. Among inflammatory etiology, acute pancreatitis cases were common and among neoplasm, adenocarcinoma cases are encountered more. Most C common CT features of acute pancreatitis include bulky pancreas and fat stunting followed by peripancreatic fluid collection. Extrapancreatic manifestation include ascites being more frequent, 
followed by pleural effusion and some cases show thrombosis of vessel. World of necrosis is seen only in case of necrotizing pancreatitis with high significance stating its specificity. Most common CT features of chronic pancreatitis include parenchymal calcification followed by atrophy. Other features include ductal calcification and MPD dilatation. Pancreatic neoplasm shows male predilection. Adenocarcinoma of pancreas shows involvement of head and uncinate process in majority of cases. Few cases of anomaly of pancreas and uh, trauma to pancreas also detected. Now conclusion, MDCT is excellent diagnostic modality in assess the severity of inflammatory process, traumatic injury and neoplastic lesion. MDCT imaging with its post processing technique is the imaging modality of choice for diagnosing pancreatic masses. It is standard investigation to identify and quantify distribution of various pancreatic lesion and also evaluate the activeness and progression of disease. It helps in accurate diagnosis and characterization of lesion in proper treatment of patients. Thank you.